Okay, welcome back to this demonstration of the DSD-877 six drug plus saliva alcohol tests for saliva. This hasn't had the full five minutes, but what I'm going to do is peel this back so we can demonstrate the actual membranes running. And you'll see here what we've got on this test. You'll see the pink dye and the dis uh, discoloration occurring as the saliva travels up osmotically these membranes. They're individually labeled with the drug coding, so OPI for opiates. AMP for amphetamine, MTD for methadone. If we rotate round, you'll see here we have the cocaine, benzo and cannabis membranes. And on the end here, the alcohol test pad. So this is partially run. You'll see that on some of them, we've already got clear control and test lines indicating negative results. Cannabis membranes taking slightly longer to run and hasn't got a control line yet. But all three of these other ones around the other side have already given clear negative results. And I hope you'll see how nice and easy that is to interpret your negative results with two lines showing both control and test lines. It's important with any positive results to wait for the full five minutes developing time for any test line to develop. But you can already see with these that we're getting test lines showing on all. We're just waiting now for that cannabis line. Won't be helped by the fact that I'm holding it on an angle. Ideally, these should be placed vertically such as that for the test to run. You can, there's no problem with taking the, the test window cover off before the read time. Um, makes no difference procedurally to the test. Uh, there is, as I can show you on here, uh, areas for identification of the donor and the date to be recorded on here. And we're just waiting now for that final test. The interpretation of the alcohol, obviously you're looking for a colour change on that pad. This one is a negative sample with just the cream baseline colour still showing. You would get a duck egg through to a dark blue discoloration which we would match against the, uh, the uh, sheet given with the, the tests for the relative blood alcohol concentration. So this is a clear negative result for all six drugs plus alcohol. You will see, I'll uh, just talk you through the variation in the thickness and density of the test lines. That's a, a normal thing for drug testing. They will not always be the same color density, thickness or color saturation. As long as you've got a test line showing, no matter how thin or faint, in the presence of a control line at the dedicated read time, you must give the candidate a clear negative result on the initial screen. So that is the DSD-877 six drug plus alcohol test. All negative results you'll see can be interpreted as early as one or two minutes after the test is, is started. But for positive results you must give the full read time, development time for the test line to show before giving a positive result. All positive results should be confirmed using a GCMS laboratory accredited uh, process.